So these are all new sealed. Could be kind of a gold mine there. If I bought these, I would list them for like 80 or 90 bucks. We live by the river, and so you can never have enough kayaks. Hi guys, so this video is going to be a little bit different. Uh, we get a good chunk of our inventory from wholesale buys from local people. We've built a lot of relationships over the last few years where we buy stuff from people. They buy it really cheap, we buy it from them, and hopefully we both make money. This allows us to scale and get inventory quickly without having to go out and hunt for it. This video is going to be a bunch of little clips of different bulk buys that we've done all put together. Doug is going to be in most of these videos because he's the chief buyer of our corporation. If you like this kind of video, let us know in the comments. Enjoy. All right, we're back at Rob's house. Um, got a really interesting load of stuff today, especially this pile right here, and I'll go over that in a minute. But we'll start over here. We've got some Tupperware stuff, one of these cassette cases, um, miscellaneous toys, clothes. Got some, a bag of figures right there. Um, some media. He showed me some... Let's make the camera. He showed me some sold listings on a lot of this stuff. Um, we settled on $300 for everything. And in a minute, I will show you why. Some different media over there. These book series were going for what? 25 a pop. 25 a pop or so. Pre-owned. This is the stack of books that he kind of gave up and didn't even look up yet, but he did look up some of them um, in this pile here. It's just all Doctor Who stuff. Some of them were going for from $20 to even $50, like this one right here has a sold listing for $75. And then this pile over here, um, this, there was a sold listing on eBay for $80? $70. $70? Looked at it 90. This, like I said, was 75. I'll share some screenshots with you guys. This was 40, I believe. These are new sealed, which is crazy to find. This Ogre Battle Box is also new sealed. How much was that, Rob? I believe that one was 60 last sold. 60. And then there are one, two, three, four, five, six of these games. And they go, I mean, there's pre-owned ones that were going for, what, 40, 40 bucks. So these are all new sealed. Could be kind of a gold mine there. We'll do some more research, probably look those up on Terrapeak. And then this thing, I told him I don't know what I'm going to do with that, Rob, but I'll take it. <laughs> but yeah, a lot of cool stuff, 300 bucks. I, ma I made him name the price this time. So maybe he's going to start doing that from now on, but... Yeah, 300 bucks, got all this. Hopefully we both make some money. Hey guys, so I got a text from a guy named Sean. He buys storage units and Amazon liquidation pallets. And he said he's having a garage sale. And he wants to know if I wanna come over early and pick through this stuff. And I said yes to that. Um, so me and my buddy Jeremy are gonna go over and look through Jeremy is a reseller also, but he does a lot of different stuff than I do. He's got a good eye for like glassware, antiques, um, precious metals, stuff like that. Stuff that I would probably miss. So he's going to go with and we're going to see what we can find. So stick around. There's Jeremy. What is that? So all this stuff came out of storage units and then over there there's a section of stuff that was from Amazon return pallets but he just said to make us a deal on whatever we want and there is a lot of stuff. So if we find anything, I guess we'll just show you after we're done. 
That should be good. We'll see how much he wants for that. All right, time to dig. So I'm going to do a voiceover for this part. It was really windy. This is going to be everything I found at Sean's. First is this kayak. We live by the river, so you can never have enough kayaks, and this was 50 bucks, which is a pretty good deal. Um, it also came with a kayak cooler, which is that little white boat-looking thing. It did have a couple of rivets that were broken, but I think I can fix that with a bolt or something like that. Then it came with the oar or paddle, and then I also got this wood splitting axe. This is the rest of the stuff I got. I guess a couple of the good things, if they work, would be this Fitbit and then this Moto, Motorola phone. I gotta charge that and test it out. This is like a, a magnet, I think for like dragging the bottom of a river or lake, trying to find stuff. This TENS unit is brand new inside. I probably wouldn't have bought it if it was used, but I think I can sell it if it's new on eBay. Star showers, we wait until Christmas and list those. These I'm taking kind of a chance on, but they're only a couple bucks. But if you are a member of the Altered Moments Facebook page, people are buying these to paint them and make them into like pop culture characters or horror figures or whatever. So we're going to try the Precious Moments. These two brand new tags, brand new in the bag. Sweaters were five bucks a piece. And then this, he said, his son made it. I just thought it was cool. It was five bucks for both. So we'll see what we can do with those. But they're, I don't know, props for a play or something or what they used them for. But I don't know. Just thought they were cool. All right, guys. We're back at Rob's house buying some more stuff. He's got a bunch of shoes today. Some video game stuff. We'll show you what we got. For some of this is going to be for a warehouse sale, like these sleeping bags, this air mattress over here. Um, he's got this slap shot Wii game, which is sealed. And I'll show you guys a screenshot. It goes for like $79.99, brand new. So that was a good find. NES Classic Edition, I think goes for like 60 bucks. This little guy. Pretty cute, only like 20 bucks on eBay, but pretty neat anyways. Got some hats over there, some dad hats. That Nike one might be good for eBay, some clothing. And then he just had a big bag of shoes and I kind of sorted them. These ones over here will be for a warehouse sale either condition issues or just not very good brands. And then these ones over here, we'll put online and see what we can get. Um, some couple pairs of Echoes, which is a really good brand to look for. It is ECCO. And then the size is usually on the bottom. Um, some Nakona boots. Those are Sanooks right there. These Danskos, another Bolo brand. A Little bit of wear, you wanna look for the wear on the sides. But we'll still try to put those. We'll just put a little discount on them and put the wear in the description. We decided on 147 for everything because that's how Rob negotiates, down to the penny. And hopefully he'll make some money and I'll make some money and we're both happy. A lot of stuff again, huh? Yeah. So this is Rosa's house. She'll text me about once a month. I'm not showing everything I got because there was a barking dog in the background. But she usually has really high quality or new tags, clothing, and shoes. And that was the case this time. These are nice. Yeah. Do you know if they're real? They look real. Yeah, they were my daughter's. So she got them at some store? Yes. I don't know. Those were my daughter's. Too. These are like tennis. tennis. And these boots are nice. Saw these. Those are really nice. Corral. I think, did we buy a pair of, like this for me before? Yes. Just different size have, or? Yeah. We have a lot of boots. Yeah. A lot. No, I think yeah. it, was, it was the same. Eight, 
Eight and a half are nice. Those are nice. Those are my daddy. <clears throat> Some dress shirts. Is any of this stuff new with tags or is it just also... No, I, I think it's that it comes from my closet. Okay. So I'll just my stuff that I don't need anymore. Gotcha. I don't want anymore. Face. Fire face. 550. Got a little pen mark on it, but... Still pretty nice. Okay. How much do you want? Uh, I think it's 300 with the boots. 300? Yes. I can't remember what we got for those boots. I think it was like a hundred something. How about two forty? Oh, okay. Okay, three fifty. Two fifty. That's good. Yes. Okay. What new boots? But she wants a hundred and thirty for them. I don't know. Do you want to see them? Sure, I'll look at them. She yeah. buy them in. I don't know. Yeah, they're like. Yeah. Area ATS. Yeah. She buy those in. They're nice. Know, what, oh yeah. Let me look up the style number. She probably paid 200 or something for something them. Something like that, yeah. yeah. Somewhere on the sole. So if we listed these, we'd sell them as used. But they're definitely in very good use condition. Like, yeah, maybe she like wear them twice. Worn, twice because something bothers her. On, she mm -hmm. had like white feet. Um, no, they're a little different because these like have mesh here. Okay, so I found Vent Tech, which is like this style with a mesh on it. Yes. There's some brand new ones for 100 and 150 that sold. 124, 144. Mm -hmm. Find any, just mints. <laughs> Pre-owned, there's one pre-owned for 99. Okay. I think you have those too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she must have a problem. <laughs> Oh, she loves that girl boots. It's like my wife. Oh. My wife's a Old Navy and Target person. Though. And Target? Yeah. We are on country style. Yeah. Expensive. Poor oh, people. yeah. Poor. Very expensive for poor people like me. <laughs> hey, that's why it's good on eBay, because people want deals and they go on eBay to find it. I think if I bought these, I would list them for like... 80 or 90 bucks. Oh, okay. So, if she wants one something for them, yeah, yes. I would try eBay. Okay. Just because I can't find the exact ones. When I type this style number in, it doesn't pop doesn't up. Okay. They're, I mean, she could probably get 100 bucks on Facebook. I don't know, but I obviously can't pay that where I'm not getting that on eBay, where I would assume I wouldn't anyways, but I'd just tell her to try there and if it doesn't work out, I'd always give her 50, 60 bucks for them. Okay, I told her. So, okay. plan B at least. Yes. <laughs> All right, back at Rob's house. Got some more stuff. Um, we got a bunch of wrestling figures. We didn't look them all up. They are mostly from the early 2000s, late 90s, some newer. Um, we kind of are guessing about 10 to 12 bucks a piece on those. Some are more, some are less. Um, there is this awesome Transformers G1, I think. What is it called? Grimlock? Grimlock. Grimlock. So that's some good money on eBay. This guy is incomplete. This Tommy six wheel on each side dragster or something like that rad dig um but even incomplete that was good on ebay also sarsky and hutch car little transformer guy um, back here we got some more figures some media adobe thing that i'm not probably going to put on ebay because that type of thing you can't list on ebay for the usually and then if, it, if you can list it sometimes the cereal is already used and you there's no way to know if it's used or not when you're selling it, so you're kind of setting yourself up for failure on that. Um, we got a filter here. The Atari is the one with the HDMI back on the back, so apparently that's better. 
We got an Xbox Series S, is that what it's called? Mm -hmm. Series X charging base. And then a PS4 Slim with a four terabyte hard drive. And then it's got a controller and then a one terabyte internal hard drive. And then this guy, if you remember from our storage unit video, I brought it, he expressed some interest in that. So I brought it over. I don't want to ship it anyway. So I'm trading him a little bit of money for that. But we settled on 250 for everything. I think there's like 50 figures. And then obviously the a lot of good eBay stuff. There's this clapper too. Um, I didn't look that one on eBay. This here, this scr spin scrubber, um, his wife added that one in and it is like 25, 30 bucks on eBay. So 250 for everything is what we settled on. And I think we'll both do all right. Okay, you're gonna say, um, this allows us to scale and get inventory quickly without having to go hunt for it. Can I do it word by word? Yeah. I went too quickly to reading, hold on. I was even looking at you, so I was just looking off to the side. Doug will be in most of these videos as he is the chief buyer. There's way, way too much of a pause there. Should I do that again? Well, you're the head of marketing and that was perfect. What, what, you're the CFO <laughs> and the... <laughs> All right, do that again, yeah. If you like this kind of video, uh, let us know in the comments. Thanks for watching. I just ruined that. Doug will be in most, okay. Don't Energy, try. passion. Woo, what's Sharpay? Woo, what does Trey do before everything? I don't know. Okay.